Dia de los Muertos, in English, Day of the Dead, is a celebration of the life of those uh, whom we loved and who have passed away. Different elements uh, constitute the celebration. So, first of all, the Altar de Muertos. So it's an altar that has different pictures of the, of the members of our families, of our friends who have passed away, particularly those who have passed away recently. And it has food. It has uh, particularly the food that that person enjoyed during his life. The altar also includes little skulls that are made out of sugar, uh, calaveritas, and pan de muerto, which is um, bread, bread of the dead. It has little uh, bone shapes in it. And, and this pan de muerto uh, represents the Eucharist, which is the food also for the journey, for, for the journey after death especially. The altar will be there for the whole month and people can go look at it and they can go pray for their beloved deceased. We will also be including the intentions and the names of the beloved deceased of our donors of the seminary in, in the altar. And this celebration is joyful because in a sense, we will all die, but also at the same time, because we have the assurance that Jesus already conquered death. And so death is not something to be feared. Rather, um, we laugh at the fact that death has not the final say on, in our lives, that, that Jesus has already conquered death. For the Day of the Dead, which is November the 2nd, All Souls Day, we will have a mass in the morning and then in the afternoon we will have a, a little liturgy and then we have a procession toward the cemetery and there at the cemetery we will bless the the tombs of those who are there whose remains are there and after that blessing we will have a, a little gathering where we will share some of that pan de muerto that was uh, on the altar and also hot chocolate and yeah, keep uh, laughing at death because it has not, it doesn't have the final word.